Chess as well to keep him alive. Hook gets flashed over. He does manage to get out and first prime for the flay comes down. Haven now trying to take a little bit of damage, but Hinamori can't quite connect what he needs. And Haven will be able to walk out. It's a one for one trade in the jungle at three minutes. Professor Brian Cox though getting engaged on by Akamu in the mid lane. There's going to be the ulti as the chains have connected. He is gat gulling him down, but it looks like Akamu with the ignite will be able to return the kill. One more W forward should be enough. The distortion comes out, the Q comes down, and the Sigil of Alice finds the kill in the mid lane. Shiz finds himself yet another kill. Lee the Dealer is looking to try and count tidy up though. A counter strike is flayed away once again, and Lee the Dealer loses all of his health. Hinamori gets it. The hook goes for miles. Akamu is on the run. No, he's big in and out of the fight as Brian Cox is going to fire onto the back. Foster's bombs there, and it's a double kill to Hinamori. Looking to maybe hit some damage out as Shock Roach has got the help of the Rift Scuttler to help them take down this first inhibitor turret. And actually, they're sticking around. Maybe going to look to try and take it. Dave goes forward, can't quite connect anything, as that's going to be another dragon secured. And Hinamori with eight kills on the board. It's a double kill. Twitch now has popped the ulti, but can't quite find it. Can't quite make it connect. Brian Cox with the shield stays alive. And they're going to be able to walk out with every inhibitor. Oh, Haven, Haven, Haven. Next is tower number two, short to follow. Professor Brian Cox is going to stay alive for a little bit longer as Lee the Dealer can't quite get at the damage. Brian Cox is alive. Dave is, is seriously forward at this point, and we're actually going to see Rizuki staying alive. He's trying to get the damage up, but he can't quite, and now the Nexus is under fire. Flash forward from Rizuki. He has dropped down, and Brian Cox picks his six up. That is Bristol with a 26-minute win. Bristol secured the first game with confidence. Going into the second game, things looked to be on Bristol's side. Haven steps forward, throws a Q in, has connected it so he knows where they are. Plodink needs to be careful though, the flash knockup, followed up by the kick, followed up by the ignite, but the drowsy goes down, and first blood gets picked up by Professor Brian Cox. The team have picked themselves up the Ocean Drake. Shop Roach actually looking for the dealer. Good chains of corruption. Flag and Dragon will not save you for long as there's a feast available. Dave finds the kill. That's going to be an ulti from Plodding though. He's trying to get their life, but Jez with the Ignite manages to secure the kill. Having a little bit of a hard time. Dave gets shuffled back. Dragon does get secured. It was actually a Cloud Drake. Now we see Brian Cox get the wallop through, but they're still staying alive. It's 70 minutes and this fight is monstrous. Chess with a double kill. That's going to be returned by Brian Cox. And now everything has gone right. And Jumper Feast goes out and it's the full ace. Now we're seeing potentially a shuffle come through as he actually gets silenced. Knocked up Chess once again, playing in Insanely good, but Akamu's turned it around and Hinamori is losing his health. He's going to be forced to go golden, but Haven can secure the kill. Chez could look for an opening, has got everything available to him, but Rizuke going forward. Cataclysm's going to shut down Dave instantly out of the back as Rizuke wallops the bad line. There's going to be a massive gnaw into the Emperor's Divide, forcing all of Bristol down. Brian Cox is untouched in the fight, but that is the end of Shrock Roach. That is the end of all four members. It's a massive engage coming through from a tight side. He goes in for the shuffle, the silence, the knockup, and Dave finds the kill. Nexus under fire, 27 minutes, and Bristol take two wins. We're gonna take a look at the play of the game from this series. It wasn't the game winning play, and actually Timeslide didn't win at all, but as you see, Leader Dealer gains a massive opening with the Cataclysm, but it's all about Rajuke on the Nar here. Two members back into Akamu, who forces three back with his Emperor's Divide, securing a massive shutdown for all of Bristol. They start to lose members left, right, and center, and Brian Cox is the only one who remains at the end of the fight. It wasn't enough for them to win the game, but it was a seriously, seriously solid fight for them.